One of the best ways to diagnose a cough and the way we do it is by listening. So let's listen to this cough. That's a pretty severe cough. And it, you know, one clue I hear is that the child's coughing, doesn't breathe in, and then coughs a couple more times. And that's kind of a clue to whooping cough or pertussis. And uh, with that, you get those long coughing spells. It's, it's pretty serious in babies. The problem is the, the child can't breathe because they're coughing so hard. And sometimes there'll be a little whoop at the end of the coughing spell, a little <gasps> as they're gasping for breath to get that oxygen back in. And that's one of the reasons it's so dangerous. They, the children aren't getting oxygen to their brains. Vaccination. Vaccination. Sure There's a vaccine the against this one. So I don't see it nearly as much, thank God. So here's another type of cough. I actually hear this one over the phone a lot. And that's a very croupy, kind of barky mm -hmm. cough or, or breathing. And uh, this one's caused by a virus. Sometimes it's the same virus that causes colds mm -hmm. or laryngitis in older people, but it causes a swelling of the vocal cords and you have a hard time breathing in like that. And this one tends to get worse at night, so the child kind of wakes up with the, the barky cough. The thing to do is put them in the hot, steamy shower, because mm -hmm. uh, that steam, that moist air can really help it. Like a croup tent. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, croup tent. And the good news is that steroids can yep. tamper down that a little yeah. bit if need yeah. be. Luckily, a lot of times, it just improves on its own. Mm -hmm. Well, listen to this one. I'm sure you've heard it. <laughs> so that's a dry cough. The causes of a dry cough are a little bit different than the causes of a wet cough. Things like asthma. Believe it or not, influenza typically presents with a dry cough. Tuberculosis, mm -hmm. some pneumonias, depending upon what kind of pneumonia can be a dry cough. You know, a lot of times it can just be irritants. You know, if you're getting, getting back to asthma, dry cough, if you're entering an environment where there's a lot of pollutants, you can get irritation, and that's mm -hmm. your, your response is to cough. But there's nothing to cough up, as opposed to this type of cough. <coughs> you're, co you're coughing something up here. You know, you can have a wet cough just from post-nasal drip, yeah. from bronchitis, from pneumonia. Just, I mean, just the regular old cold gives you some of that wetness in the cough mm -hmm. because, again, all that junk in your, in your nasal passages, it goes back into your throat, into your airways, you're coughing it up. But those, those coughs, I really think the, the question of whether or not you go see a doctor or a specialist comes down to how do you feel? Yeah. Yeah. How long is it mm -hmm. going on?